So let's be honest, I am pissed off. I am pissed off, but I'm not surprised. And I think once you hear what it is that they've done to fundamentally change what the Dragon Reborn means, you might hold the same feeling. And you might need to go for a walk, or you might need to have a drink, or you might just need to grab your books, read them, and thank God that you have a physical copy of what the actual story is. This may be a personal bias of mine, but I have never been into reality television. And that goes back to the reality television of the 90s. Something I couldn't stand was the Survivor Series. I kind of saw it as bottom list D celebrity types that were attention whores. Well, the showrunner of Wheel of Time on Amazon is actually just such a, per such a person who participated in that Survivor Series but somehow managed to springboard that into a career as a writer for Hollywood. Rafe Judkins. Remember that name, Rafe Judkins. If you tune in to Amazon and love the Wheel of Time and go, my God, somebody is at least in the same time zone as what Peter Jackson did with Lord of the Rings, you can thank Rafe Judkins. However, if what you see meets your worst fears, and if it is at some CW level of puerile nonsense that defiles what it is that you loved about the Wheel of Time, remember the name Rafi Judkins as well. I'm not going to bury the lead. Here it is. So there was a press junket in October of 2021, earlier this year, when comicbook.com spoke directly with Rafi Judkins. I'm going to say spoiler alert, if you don't know anything about the Wheel of Time and you just want to watch the show, now is the time to bail. For those of you who are long-term fans of the book series, I'm going to ask you to put down whatever beverage you might be holding or any heavy objects, lest you throw them against the computer screen or throw your phone in a lake. This is again Rafe Judkins speaking to comicbook.com and what he says about characterization and changes to, let's say, some of the lore as to how the world within the Wheel of Time works. Quote, we tried to make a couple of key changes and then let them thread themselves through the show. Two of those changes that we made were aging up the kids at the center of it in Emmons Field, and also, take a breath, and also making it possible that women could be the dragon reborn. Think about that a second. If you've read the Wheel of Time series, and you're familiar with Rand and his story, the history that goes back to before the world was broken, I got to tell you, I hate that. I, it makes no sense. It violates the very basic context by which men channeling history, why men were gentled, why Iran was such an aberration. We're not even through the first show yet. And they're deliberately changing what Robert Jordan created from a world building perspective. You know what I think? My opinion. I think that Rafi Judkins came out with this because they tested it in the audiences and audiences that knew the books hated it. So they're level setting. I mean, what's the best case that we can hope from that? That some false dragon will happen to be a female. This is this is what I really don't understand. There is nothing that needs to be gender swapped or wokeified about the Wheel of Time. There's not. Robert Jordan when he wrote these books starting in the early 90s was ahead of the curve in so many ways. And it wasn't the same obnoxious way that you saw of your expectations being subverted the way they did in the Game of Thrones books, where every book, they're killing every every person that you like. That's why I stopped reading them up until, like, I think the second to the last book, because there's nobody left that I cared about, honestly. I mean, you know, George, go ahead, kill somebody else in another way. 
I, I don't care anymore. No. Robert Jordan kept building layers and character development so that you actually, you did go on a journey with these characters. And the reason why I'm emotional is that it's every single thing. It's every single franchise. It's the MCU, Doctor Who, Star Wars, Star Trek, Terminator, Ghostbusters. At, at what point does the girl who is the key to everything trope become propaganda? I'm asking you, at what point? I think we've passed it. What do you think about that where suddenly the Dragon Reborn, the very foundation that gender was what divided those who were allowed to channel and say supported by the tower and those who were hunted down and murdered and or gentled, I guess if they were lucky, for the ability to channel. What the hell were they thinking? Oh. Come on, we all know what they were thinking. It's current year politics. Amazon's adaptation of Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time series. You know, I really wish I was giving you good news. I wish I was giving you exciting developments. Because you know what? I want those. I want those for me. I want them selfishly. I want them to honor the stories that we love especially the Wheel of Time, that I'm on book seven of now. Will we ever get faithful adaptations again? You gotta hope so. Y you gotta think so. All right, as ever, this is Salty Texas C. I am Corey DB. I appreciate your watch. If you liked what you've seen and heard, please give me that thumbs up subscribe and share you know what i'm gonna go do i'm gonna put on lord of the rings the extended i'm gonna rinse this nonsense from my psyche i hope i really do that you have a great day take it easy